Okay, and now it's recording. Now it's yeah. recording. Yeah. Okay, well, ask him about that hole down there by my pickup. I want to record that. Yeah, ask, okay, in ask Spanish. Ask him about that. Well, Spanish, then turn it over to English, what he tells you. Okay. What do you want to know about? Well, that hole in front of my pickup is so deep, and they uh -huh. hit the what they're okay. looking for, and ese que nos, nos on the San Felix, and. Del, del ese que ahí. Okay. Este, ese barreno mm, cortó la veta a los 40 metros. Uh -huh. said the, the, the hole hit the vein at the 40 meters deep. They, uh, actually, they hit one of the tunnels, you know, underground where they used to mine in the past. El bajo de la veta tenemos 18 metros minerales de, con mineral. Uh -huh. Below the vein we have about 18 meters of uh, mineralized zone. El bajo de la veta y este, y ese lo separó a los 180 pies. And we stopped the hole at 180 feet. All right. And this one here, they're hoping to do the same thing. Ajá. ¿Y qué, qué esperas de este barreno que están haciendo? Este barreno, eh, esperamos eh, cortar la veta a los 95 metros. Ajá. Uh -huh. he's, he's, showing, he's showing to me the, the projection he has from the vein. Okay. And he hopes to hit the vein here sí. at 95 meters deep. Y darle aproximadamente 30 metros abajo de la veta, que es lo que esperamos que esté mineralizado. Ok, and go through the, uh, after hitting the vein, uh, he wants to go deeper, 30 meters more. And, and that's what he hopes to have uh, mineralized zone. All right, yeah. good. A little more than there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we're hoping for, and it looks good, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. What's the date today? Fourth. It's, Fourth? Yeah. Fourth right. of October? October? Fourth. Yeah. Okay, it's October 4th, and the leech pads are in the background behind Julio and the geologists, and this is the third hole. This is the 4th October. This is uh, part of leech, deep leech pad 2. They're leaching now. The recovery is flowing back to the recovery plant. They just started getting the, the material back, the solution, and it, uh, this is the fourth day of this, so in another two or three days, four days, they'll be getting a maximum flow back, and right now they're only getting a flow back of around 500 gallons a minute, which is uh, a lot less than what we want. We're, we're needing... 1,200 minimum, and uh, this pad number two goes on past the high point there. That's just where it levels off. There's uh, 500 sprinkler heads out here. So it's, uh, it's looking good at this point, but uh, we have a long ways to go yet. As the 4th of October, Friday, I'm walking through the filter press room. To my right and left is a couple of filters. We're processing at this time. This press here is the one that's getting filled now. these presses in this room. These pumps are capable of pumping 1,600 gallons a minute. Right now they're only using one pump because the flow's not coming back here quick enough. We've only had four days on pump two. One so at any rate, this is, uh, the guy in the background is a zinc feeder. <laughs> He's putting zinc and it's added to the solution. Travel suit is plumbing up to an end of these presses. 
These presses are quite impressive. They're, they're really nice and very expensive. I'll go out now and show you the pregnant solution car. Flight 68, Paul. Okay. This is the solution coming back to the makeup or the pregnant pond. The flow in the background is coming from where the sprinklers were a while ago. It comes in here and goes through these big pumps. The material coming back from the filter presses goes through the filter presses, takes the gold, silver, copper, other metals out in the filter presses, and it comes back here. They add more cyanide solution, and from here, the plumbing will take it back up to the end of pad two. This is the south end of pad two, and pad three being next to it, the white is because we had leach running on it before, and that left the material white. So it's a, it's a large operation. It takes a lot to keep it going, as you can see. The distance is pad six. There's approximately 28 acres or 14 hectares, so it's more than that, of leach pads here. So you can see the enormity of this project. Uh, it has great potential. It just takes a lot to get to the, the first paydays. Again, these are the, the far pond. Well, the next to the last pond is the pregnant solution pond where the two guys are. This one spraying the water is the makeup pond. This is an overflow pond. Gives you an idea of the size of this thing. So, more overflow ponds. It's Butch in the background. Floor middle is Javier. He's a superintendent, takes care of everything outside. The guy on the right is Cesar. He's kind of the chief security and it does whatever needs to be done and then on the left is Julio from the office. Uh, we have metallurgists, we have a lot of good people here that are doing the right things and they do it 24-7 slowly. This building press has been running for four days <coughs> and it's on 30 pounds. When that gauge gets up to 60 pounds, this press will be full and ready to take a break. And as you can see, this is uh, a large press. Serious business. We have security when they're processing. Everybody goes through this scanner, the same as an airport scanner, made by Garrett. And then they get checked by hand too if they know their hand help. The that trailer there is their lab. Inside of it is all kinds of lab equipment for checking the, uh, doing the assaying, which is done 24 hours a day around here. And uh, it's quite important and it's uh, kept locked up and they don't allow many people in there, but it's, uh, it's a first class lab. This, uh, this is serving as an office, the trailer in the background, and uh, we're inside of the locked-in area now. Foundry behind us, smelting. The building there we just come out of that has the filter presses in it. The gold recovery. This is the uh, communication tower that's set up. We're getting a new internet system brought in. So we have a 
live, full-time, 24-7 coverage of this place. So, again, and then behind us is one of the ends of one of the heap leach pads in the background. Up the hill in the saddle, they're drilling hole number three, <clears throat> our intercepts are as expected. There's 26, 30 foot of vein system. Looks really good. Plus 18 meters underneath that of mineralized area. At any rate, that's where they're drilling. The bluff in front of them is the San Felix. And a pad that had been leached in the they're preparing. How you doing? They're preparing pad one in the background. I'm putting a sprinkling system in. The pad that's being sprinkled there now is about a little less than half of pad two. Behind the cat is pad four and five. Beyond it is pad six, which you can't see, which is a large pad. 